Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We rushing. It's me and Sayana. You wanna say hi? Hey! Good morning. Coronavirus. I ain't got one. We're rushing. Because I have to be the doctor at 8. She gotta be to school at 8. It's 7 20 for 1, and we're just leaving the house. Isn't today a great day? <laughs> your allergies gonna kick your butt, just so you know. I just took a, a bit. I know I need to hurt from kicking. You're supposed to take them every day to try to prevent this from happening, not yeah. just when it's happening. Oh, okay. And I've been telling you that, you know, all about your whole life. <laughs> you just don't listen. So I got up this morning. I did not get up at the time I wanted to. I got up at the time I wanted to, but then I didn't get up. I just laid there on the sofa. So got up at six, woke everybody up, the whoop de doo, did the doo de doo in the morning. And I cooked breakfast at the last minute because everybody knows Tiggy is always freaking hungry at all times. So I made pancakes and sausage for them. I made me like a sausage egg and cheese biscuit for me and, and a smoothie and it made the same for my daddy he is still at the house with the boys so the boys gonna be late i don't know why he thinks that they're not gonna be late to school if you don't hurt me the house like in the next 10 minutes so but miss i'm out the house hooray hooray <laughs> and since my appointment is across the street from her school she's alone for the ride so, let's rush and get her to school. I'm finna feed my face, just so y'all know. That's why I'm not finna be talking to y'all on this ride. Cause I'm hungry. It's a sick new cat. We've been home probably about 45 minutes. What? And I still gotta go back to the hospital cause I wasn't up there long enough earlier today. All right. It is the afternoon, it's five something in the afternoon, 5.36. And I'm cooking dinner, finna get them suddenly, and I have to go back out to the hospital. I'm trying to get it back out there by seven. And I don't know. I checked the mailbox, updated my calendar while we were at the bus, all right. The pickup spot for Jamel. Um. I need to write, need to write my um, Q1 goals inside my planner. I'm trying to decrease the amount of stuff that I carry around with me. Hi right, y'all, let's have a real <laughs> transparent moment right now. Okay. Transparency. I'm stressed. I am so stressed. I am feeling... 100% overwhelmed and uh, yeah I just don't know so today I found out my c-section date which is 30 days away um on top of that y'all let me know the whole pregnancy thing is stressful because it was such a surprise we were not trying to get pregnant my tubes were tied <laughs> but hey we're going with the flow ahead um, on top of that, my mom has been in the ICU for over a week now, so I'm dealing with all of that, trying to maintain her health and everything, making calls with that, and making sure I'm reporting back to the family that's near and dear, so I'm trying to keep everybody updated, so I'm back and forth to the hospital every day, all day, um, as well as being a mama on top of it, it's also making sure the kids get what they need, make sure they fed medicine, baths, getting them to and from school. Um, still trying to be a wife, which I think, like I realized that I have, I feel like I'm neglecting my husband in a sense, cause I don't see him that much. Cause he, you know, he works from like two in the afternoon to like two in the morning, something like that, and then he gets off. So I feel like I'm not seeing him much. I did, I was able to get away from the hospital for a little bit today to come home and spend like a little bit of time with him before he had to go to work. But I don't feel like it is enough. So, mental health wise, I kind of want to say I put it on the back burner, but not really. I'm still trying to maintain my sanity and keep myself calm. 
but to know that my c-section is 30 days away and my goal is to have my mother home by the time this time comes but with such a surprise element right now going on 2023 to started out with a boom boom shake y'all um but i don't know so i actually came in my closet because i needed a 10 minute break from the kids because if y'all know tiggy will call me 199 times while he needs anything so i just needed a break and so I came in my closet for 10 minutes uninterrupted. I mean, kids know don't come in here. Don't bother me. It's let me be. But right before the New Year's, literally the day before, I did sit down and write some Q1 goals for myself. I have 10 goals and they're broken down into steps that I thought would work. My thing is life still rich so a lot of this stuff i'm not able to do but i am kind of still doing it y'all i'm sorry breath just come in is when it sounds for a slide but i need to refocus myself and i had a teacher parent conference with one of the teammates and teachers yesterday and i really want to pull him out of public school and homeschool him because i feel like the public school system is not helping him so now i gotta figure out that and then after i have harmony i gotta figure out how i'm gonna manage going back to work i really want a remote job so i'm trying to find some remote i don't think it is going to be really hard for me to go back to bedside nursing for at least a year or two give it give it what it is do i want to go back to this i nursing to be honest no i want to do something else so i'm looking into some other options for my career because i love being a nurse and connecting with the people but then realistically speaking my kids come before anything so now i have to figure out how I'm going to manage being in the healthcare field and managing my kids and all the other wheels that go into my life. Then I started talking to my husband today about us buying a house. Whew. So now we got to figure out what our steps. Well, I, I don't figure out. I know the steps that we have to take in order to buy a house. We're giving ourselves a year and a half to do that along with everything else. So there's a lot of moving parts that's going on right now in my life and I am getting so overwhelmed with all the things that are occurring right now um so i feel like it's time to recenter myself and tonight is gonna be a brain dump night i'm probably just gonna put them dishes in the dishwasher y'all and let it go for what it know and then brain dump because I need to figure out how to organize my life a little bit different because tomorrow I have two doctor's appointments I still have to be at the hospital with my mom Santa has an appointment in the morning made to get his appointment at like one um and it has like I said I have to go to the hospital with my mom and then it's pickup time by the time I blink twice so I just need to breathe. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's a lot. People be like, oh, you make it look so easy. <laughs> it's not. Most of the time, like, I post, like, real and stuff. And they be like, oh, you make it look so easy. But be listen, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I am overwhelmed. Um. <laughs> and this sugar honey I see is nowhere near easy for me to do. But I got a challenge for myself. Stay on the mental health path that I'm on. Get organized. Take this crap one day by day. And go from there. I just got my husband's dental insurance card saying today. So I can schedule Sayana and Mason a dental appointment. I gotta find a dentist first. <laughs> and then 
tickets going to the dentist tomorrow. Sorry, I'm going to I need to schedule Mason a primary care doctor follow-up. Go check up. Because he was technically a follow-up from the problem we've been having with him. So, we got to figure that out. And then I need to start doing some research on some natural stuff to give Mason for his ADHD. Because, I don't know. I, I the We've tried a few different medicines and they either make him really sick or they don't work. So, I don't want to keep going down the medicinal the medicine route because it, we're not getting desirable outcomes from it. Um, I can handle him at home better than the teachers can handle him at school. And so... I'm really considering taking him out of school, figuring out a job that can let me work from home, homeschooling him while still mothering Harmony and working, which seems like a lot. But the thing with homeschool is that I'm not censored to a certain amount of time throughout the day that he has. Like, he don't have to sit down for eight hours in the morning from eight to three. That's not eight hours. He doesn't have to sit down for eight to three and do work when I'm homeschool. If I homeschool him. Then we can, you know, like work a different curriculum we can do different times because you know he needs a boatload of breaks and stuff like that um so i'm really considering taking him out of public school and homeschooling him and then just the other three are being school but i'm trying to see i need to find a remote job probably nobody's gonna hire me now since I'm so close to the end of my pregnancy but i need i need something i'm and i'm debating between Staying in the healthcare field or going to accounting because I like numbers and I like money. Like I like numbers, so I'm okay with the accounting part. Or staying in the healthcare field, which I love healthcare, but at this point, it's not really the life plan that I had at 17, 16, 17 is not the life plan that I'm following now. So I have come to the reality at almost the age of 30 that that life plan ain't gonna happen. And I need to change the course of it and figure out what my life looks like from this point on. Because I'll be 30 in March. And it's a lot that I have not even thought about. Because I was so focused and con hole. I'm mean, so, like, so focused and on that. But yeah. So I'm just so focused and so stuck on the plan that I had created when I was a teenager. Now realizing I'm going to be 30 and that plan ain't working. So... Let me actually get up out of this closet because my camera just died. You can see she's sitting here. I'm sitting here. And I'm actually about to go finish cooking dinner and then get them settled in so I can head out to the hospital. I'm taking my journal with me so I can write. Because I need to write. Because I feel my mind rambling. rambling. So, I'll see y'all in a little bit. I'm just leaving the hospital. It's 8.03. I just checked my cameras. Kids aren't asleep. But they better answer this phone. Phone call completed. I'm take a kid out. Alright, so mommy was sleeping pretty much the whole time I was up here. So whatever. Oh, I can't breathe, y'all. So I said whatever. I cannot breathe. So my mom was asleep the entire time I was up here. They did just do some tests, some more tests on me. So I found out about it in the morning. Just know I need y'all to pray. Everything goes well. I was meant for you and you were meant for me. It's 10:29, and I'm already tired. Just put y'all on my tired. But um, so far today, took kids to school. Took Sayana to her doctor's appointment. Just dropped her off to school. Now I'm picking up Naya to take her to work, and then I have to pick Tuggy up around 12, cause he has a dentist appointment today at one twelve thirty. so but his dentist office is literally right up the street from his school so he's going to the dentist i 
think I'm having contractions. Because it is like a, it's like that wave pain that is just mostly at the top of my stomach. Well, either that or this food I just ate. But. From dropping off at 11, I have an hour until I got to pick up Tuggy. So, and then after I pick up Tuggy, then I got to go back and pick up Mason. Then, we had a standstill because Sayana has anime club today, so that's going to take a while. And then, I have to pick up Jamil too, so I have to pick up Jamil then Sayana today, so it's backwards. But, that's it. But here's Naya coming. So pretty. She's so pretty. Oh shit. Uh, Is the car park? Oh, you can move this freaking bag out my seat. I wanted to, but I had a scrap to pick it up. Stop putting all this stuff in it. Can I tell you a secret that's not a secret? What? It's so freaking pretty. Thank you. My stomach hurts. Come on. You didn't bring me nothing to eat. I want a hash brown or something. We didn't eat nothing. We got chicken and sausage biscuits. I'm nice. starving. Come on. Come on. Last few dollars. Ooh. Okay. This one might come to your house. Because uh, why do people have to look me in the face when they pull in the parking lot? Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, why? Like, just pull it in your parking lot. Why you got to look me in my face? I don't know you. You don't know me. We don't know us. 29 days. Don't be hitting on me like that, woman. 29 days. Till what? They cut me open and take this Get baby. your hands off me. I love you, though. Okay, but that's not love. It is. I'm sleepy. <laughs> this water or Sprite? Sprite. We on it. School. I just dropped off. That was her. What time she go to school? She supposed to be in school at 8, but she had a doctor's appointment this morning. Oh, where? To the eye? Uh-uh. I'll write a doctor's appointment. Down to me a job. At By the apartments? The ones that I used to stay in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought. Where you at, mama? Oh, girl? Yeah, I'll be out of here. He's gonna go get somebody to pay, pay me or they furnish you. <laughs> you got what, though? I don't know. I thought they had another doctor. I mean, they got all the doctors that they see, but that's their primary care doctor. I love my uh -huh. I'm talking to you. Nobody. Because I can. Now you gonna tell me? You gonna tell me? Uh, why not? You need a job? Yeah. Why? What's wrong with her working at Arby's? The people get on her nerves. Oh, the people get on her nerves. That's why she needed a job. Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's go. D. D. Where you at? D. D. What you doing? Grandma. D. She got her own phone. Getting your teeth. Yeah. She's gonna get some dentures. We're finna go out the door. We're finna go get. Maybe. Not yet. Milkshake. A milkshake. I'm bored. You want a milkshake? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. And some food? Yeah. Don't sound like you're too happy about it. I'm bored. You bored? Me too. I'm bored. <laughs> Hey, what you doing? What you eating? 
easiest decision you make all year thanks to Arlington's 30 day exchange program. What's it? 30 days to love it or exchange it. I like that. Plus, every new car purchase from Arlington comes with a lifetime warranty. Whoa. That's what kind of food? And unlimited miles. And when it comes to customer satisfaction, mm. just look at Arlington's reviews. Where we at? We, where we at? You know where we at. Where we at? Good job, this is. Where we at? What night job now? Arlington today. In person at 1039 Atlantic. Arby's. Arby's. What you eating though? Mm. What kind of food? Chicken nuggets. And what else? Fries. And what else? And what you got to drink? Milk. A milkshake. We got what is that white thing? Whipped cream. We got to eat each food first. So tired in my entire life. All right, so I'm over so tired. I, I'm irritable tired at this point. We just getting home about 10 minutes ago. Probably a little longer than that. I gotta cook real quick to feed these kids. I really want to go to sleep, but I gotta clean. We gotta clean this kitchen because the kitchen needs to be clean. Anybody else feel like their kids want them to lose their shits? So, <laughs> I'm losing my shits right now. I'm gonna cook. And then we as a collective is gonna clean this kitchen. And tonight needs to be a really early night. It is 6.46. And we need to be in bed by 8 o'clock. But that's not right, that's normal. But, my level of irritation and exhaustion is causing me to get cranky. So I'm going to cook a quick dinner, which includes sausage, peppers, onions, and rice. And that's about to be it. And we got to get the house clean real quick. I need to, I need to shower. I need to rest. I'm miserable. Good news is my mom is a lot better. She was able to respond to that. She was able to respond in a different way today using head gestures, so we are going on the up with her. And I'm to the point of pregnancy where I don't want to sleep. I have been running around. I had an appointment this morning. I had to take Naya to work. Tiggy had an appointment after that. Then I took Tiggy to get something to eat because I picked him up right at one on lunchtime. And then I had to pick up the kids. So I picked up Mason first. Then when I got Jamel a little early and then picked up Sayana. Went by the hospital to see my mom. And then on the way home, Naya called her like she needed to ride home from work. So I had to go pick her back up from work and take her home. All in all, I thought we were going to get home earlier. I said no time getting home and I'm exhausted. So, I'm going to cook this really easy meal. So we can go to really easy bed, really easy bed, because I'm exhausted. I don't know if I mentioned on the previous vlog, 29 days left until baby harmony is here. They still in my C-section for the 20th of I mean, 20th of February. Um, so we're trying to get prepared for that. As well. But let me do some cleaning. So we can lay it down there because I am tired.
know what's gonna call it like a long self-care night like a long slow shower honey but it's going to the be that ain't what's happening quick shower um comfortable clothes this is my husband's shirt i got some shorts and i'm gonna put it down because i'm tired these kids are fed the kitchen is clean the living room is semi-clean the dining room is the dining room the, the rest of the house are freaking well because i'm tired so uh, good night to y'all I got a husband for sale. Anybody want him? Turn it down. All the time you just went out here rolling, rolling your herbal essence and picking out music. You could have been in the house with me still. Y'all can have a husband. He on sale for $2.99. $2.99. What's she doing at? What are you eating? Just put stuff in your mouth. It is hot. Mmm. Yo. I'm tired. It is Friday. And it is about one fifty five. You want to cut out? You want to cut out? Cut out. Come on. I can pick you up. And a Friday meeting is glamour time. So we're home. We just got back. We went and looked at the house. We picked up our groceries. Daddy, y'all can see, is just leaving to go to work. And then going off to the chill here to change her diaper. And then wait. Right. Um, cooking dinner. Trying to figure because my mom is able to communicate with us by using head gestures. And I asked her that she wanted to see the grandkids later. So she said yes. So, I'm trying to cook dinner early so that I'll be able to go out there and spend a little bit more time out there with her. Because it's definitely it's Friday. Um, I had to take Jamil to his mom's house if he wanted to go for the weekend. And I also got to pick Naya's home. So my husband, before he left, helped me out some. He made the kids peanut butter jelly sandwiches. I cut up some apples. And that's what they're going to have for afternoon snack to hold them over to dinner. Because that's the school the kids are starving. Um, I need to figure out a place to put all this freaking fruit that I bought. But this is an olive, this is some of it. And clean up a little bit before I leave. Because they must clean just whatever I just used to do this with. Um, other than that, peanut butter can go in the cabinet. Put this behind this look. The trim is gonna use that one first. Did I say I use use first stickers for the house? Because I need them. Um other than that. Chilling, cooking, beef and broccoli for dinner, and is this about what that's not? We're cooking beef and broccoli for dinner, All right? Today has been a rough day. I need to drop off Tiggy's prescription, so I'm gonna do that after I pick up Sayana before I pick up Jamil for his medicine. Hi. And I, I have some appointments that I was just calling the other day, but I totally forgot. Um, to do it while well, I was in the car, so I'll sit down and update my calendar to do that on Monday. Um, and I still got the stuff I didn't grab from the store toilet paper, dishwashing pods, and oh, there's stuff on the front porch I gotta get. It. Hold on, let me go get that stuff now. So, cookies, monthly supplies came in, and I need to see if there is wipes in here. <laughs> Because he has like one pack left. And if he doesn't have wipes, then I gotta buy wipes. Let's pray. 
There's some wipes in here. Dinner, Cause I need to leave the house in about T minus 10-15 minutes. 